Hey you guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video of me trying out eating an animal-based diet for three weeks in a row. And if you're new here, I'm trying to eat an animal-based diet for 30 days in hopes of fixing an inflammation that I've been dealing with on my tongue. Keto hasn't helped, autoimmune protocol hasn't helped. I'm hoping that carnivore will help. I'm doing a dairy-free version of carnivore that includes no dairy and no sweeteners as well. So I'm strictly just doing meat, water, and salt. I'm hoping it fixes an inflammation in my tongue that I've been dealing with since like forever. I've already talked with a nutritionist and I'm already taking some supplements. And in the first week video, you can see I go more in depth as to like the type of diet I've been eating. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the physical changes and mental changes I've been experiencing on carnivore this week. Also, I'm going to be giving you guys updates on my bowel movements, which it's not much. And at the very end, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much weight I lost on my third week of eating strictly carnivore. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys the ways that I try to stick to carnivore as much as possible while I went car camping to Zion National Park. And this is how it went. So for breakfast, my go-to lately has been three sausages and two over-easy eggs. And for lunch, I'm having some of my crispy carnivore fried chicken that I made in the last video. So good. It's so crispy and it's so moist. This is week three, day one of me doing the carnivore diet. Honestly, I have definitely noticed improvements in my mood. I have less anxiety. I used to have these feelings where I would just be really in my head. And lately, since I've been doing carnivore, I've noticed that I feel a lot better. I feel confident. My pants are fitting looser. I don't have as much anxiety. I feel good. I feel really, really good. And yeah, I do miss like eating actual food and I do miss eating. Like I wish I was eating this coffee cake I made last week, but I'm okay okay with it because this is only temporary i just know that i feel really good right now this whole past week i lost 1.5 pounds which i didn't think i was going to be able to lose any weight just because honestly i feel like my body looks exactly the same i don't know i'm excited to end week three i don't know i might do this for six weeks as far as my tongue goes like my tongue hasn't been feeling irritated it looks like it's clearing up like i had mentioned in the last video it's already at 75 percent clearing up and i have high hopes but again i don't have that high of a hope and for dinner today, we're going to have carne picada. I'm just kidding. It's carne picada. And a salt of water because that's all I can have on this diet. Meat and water. Bon appetit! So today is week three, day two. I'm actually pretty surprised that I've lasted so long. And I don't have any like real bad cravings where i'm like oh i have to have this coffee or oh i have to have like a bite of this treat like i can really do really well at not giving in to temptation so for lunch i had chicken and i had a little bit of canasada from the night before and i'm doing well the only thing that sucks is that like i'm like in this space where i miss variety i miss having simple pleasures like having a coffee or like having a sweet drink or having something i miss enjoying food yeah that's pretty much it i just i just feel really good my if you want to see a nail update this is my nail update they don't look as brittle as before my skin has cleared up i feel like i don't have that much acne i've been taking collagen twice a day 12 capsules total which is a freaking lot and i hate it and i so regret ever buying the pill form of that collagen i'm gonna try to run to costco before i leave to zion national park this thursday and see if i can get the powder form of the vital proteins collagen just because it happens to be on sale it's only like 28 dollars, and right now it's 20 dollars. so i'm like hmm, i kind of should get it i still losing hair a lot and it's pretty sad and i have no idea why i'm losing so much hair <sighs> i mean i still have a lot of hair it hasn't thinned out yet but i am still concerned that i will eventually lose more hair and more hair and then it'll actually get thinned and then i'm like screwed i'm thinking that the reason i'm having a lot of hair loss is because of the weather it could be because of the shampoo i'm using and it also could be because of my diet and unfortunately the hair keeps falling and it it won't stop falling and for dinner, I made another batch of that freaking delicious fried chicken from last week's video. I mean, last month's video. Sorry, I suck at editing videos. So, quick update. I should probably... Look at my face. It looks so different from when I posted that first video of the first week. Like, I remember I had a double chin when I made that first video. So this is the collagen pills that I was talking about earlier. They're the ones that I have to take six capsules twice a day. Not a fan. This is a monolaurin recommended by my nutritionist that's supposed to help with yeast. It worked for a bit and then it did nothing. And Carnivore Yogi used this supplement to help regulate her bowel movements. The most it did for me was slightly improve my condition. 
So like always, I had eggs and sausage for breakfast. And for dinner, I had this ground beef, chicken thigh, shrimp mix that I did not add dairy to. My little camping haul. This is the protein snack. I bought some. I was kind of hesitant about buying it, but it was pretty clean. Beef vinegar, raisin juice. It's clean as I could find and I'm going hiking, so I do want something a little bit more shelf stable. Got chicharrones, got the American, they can find the fancy ones, but it's just pork rinds and salt. And I read somewhere that if it only says pork rinds and salt, I can safely assume that it got fried into its own fat. This is my husband's stash. I didn't get these because they had like honey, sea salt, garlic powder. Mm, you're proud of those ingredients. Yikes. But yeah, sugar. Why are you proud? All right, so this is a this is a midday checkup. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Zion National Park with my husband for three days, and we're gonna go camping. And I'm gonna bring you guys along as I try to stay carnivore throughout that whole trip. And I actually thought it was gonna be pretty hard to do, but I did really good prepping. Where there were some like snacks that I'm taking that are a little bit. They're not sketchy, but they I wouldn't call it like pure carnivore because they have some herbs to them and they have some. One has raisin juice. I'm gonna pretty much like walk you guys through me trying to be out in the wild, out in the forest, car camping. It's gonna be tough. I'm not really looking forward to it just because I'm scared. I don't know. Like there's two things that are like I'm kind of scared of. One, my bowel systems haven't been completely regulated, which are working for me and against me. They're working for me because like I honestly go to the bathroom like twice a day. I pee all the time. I just go to the bathroom twice a day. I'm not looking too forward to like going number two in the wild without any like plumbing, if you know what I mean. But my husband did a really good job at to be very accommodating. He knows I hate nature. And luckily he made it so that this trip will be as comfortable as it can possibly get for me being out in the wild. <laughs> as far as updates, nothing different from these past few weeks. My tongue seems like it's getting better. But like I said before, it's not until it's completely healed and it stays healed will I realize whether this actually worked not. I don't know at this point I kind of feel a little bit lost not gonna lie like I'm hoping this is this is all worth it I am dreading where I'm actually gonna have to start reintroducing foods because it's gonna be a pain and a half to reintroduce every single food group again and I'm not looking forward to it I am looking forward to just living a regular life eating normal things and not being so restrictive with my diet I do appreciate the fact that I am learning a lot about myself as far as how I view food my relationship with food and I also appreciate the fact that I'm finally able to get back to the weight that I had originally lost my first time on keto. It's a weight that I never thought I was going to get back to again and I'm pleasantly surprised that I'm honestly like four pounds away from that weight and that's not my goal weight. My goal weight has always been to be like 130. I currently weigh 152 and the first time I went on keto I went down to 148 and that was the lowest weight I've ever been at. My real goal weight that I never reached was 130. I don't know if that's actually a sustainable goal weight to actually achieve with my body type but you know it's what I was aiming for but I never reached it because when I started keto, I didn't have a keto Instagram like at all. Like I honestly learned about keto through through rule.me. I like read all the articles that he had. I did more research. I was on Reddit a lot. Reddit helped a lot with me learning about keto. And when I did keto, I posted pictures on my personal Instagram and I like showed people like, oh, this is me baking cheese covered green beans or I forgot what I made. I made these waffles and I looked up recipes online and I would just post them on my personal Instagram. And you know, it's cooking content. Like I don't know if any of my high school friends or my coworkers cared about that stuff. So it was just kind of like me putting something on Instagram and I got a few likes from just my friends, but I was like, this is not getting appreciated. It's not that it wasn't getting appreciated, but you know, I enjoyed taking photos of it, but like that's all it was. My husband was enjoying it. I was enjoying it and I was taking photos on my Instagram. And so then my sister gave me the bright idea to start an Instagram, a keto Instagram account. And that's where I started posting pictures of my food again. And then 
I learned about hashtags and then I started meeting people in the keto community and I found a bunch of keto influencers and it was so cool to just be in the community seeing people post recipes and showing you products and all this stuff and I was like super hyped about it because I had been in my little bubble and up until that point the only keto products I knew was a Quest Nutrition and it was their keto bars so me and my husband would go to GNC and we would go to get some keto bars that's honestly the only thing that I ate that was sweet I also watched a lot of Keto Connects videos because they had really good thumbnails and I bought their cookbook and I tried some recipes from their cookbook and not gonna lie some of the dessert recipes I tried from them at first were not that great like they were they really liked dark chocolate and <sighs> dark chocolate was ugh and then but once i started my instagram then i learned about peace love and low carb i learned about maria emmerich i learned about all day i dream about food i learned about all these creators and i was like yes i'm so excited and that's when i also learned about more keto products and more keto baked goods and i started making like a lot of really heavy dairy recipes and not gonna lie i started not caring about my weight i started caring about like just making a bunch of recipes and enjoying the food that i was eating but it sidetracked me from my goal which was always to lose the weight reach 130 and i never reached it because i started like making my youtube videos i started making where i was like make 10 different cookies and then i would proceed and eat all those 10 different cookies i got very lenient with energy drinks i would drink bang all the time and bang is addictive and i was chasing that high of being on caffeine and i was also drinking a lot of wine and alcohol and i was also overdoing it on sweeteners and dairy i kind of ballooned back up to like 192 yeah i got back to 185 by trying to be a little bit more stricter on keto i was no longer just doing lazy keto i was actually like tracking and then i got kind of stuck at 185 and i worked out and i still couldn't get past 185 and then that's when i finally did the autoimmune protocol and i tried to get rid of as much inflammation as possible to see if it would fix my tongue because my tongue is just an issue i've always dealt with for like ever even on keto that's when i lost the weight and i've been doing the autoimmune protocol since april and and we are now in September, going on to October. And I've been on this health journey this whole time. And I'm kind of sad because there's part of me in the back of my head thinking like this is a waste of time and I'm learning nothing and I'm healing nothing. And what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Reason! reason. What was the reason? reason? And I don't know. And I'm also losing hair. My hair does not stop falling out. I am hoping for it to be a seasonal thing or like a weather type of thing. I'm gonna change my shampoo once I come back from this trip. But yes, I'm going on a trip. I'm glad I'm losing weight. I do feel better. I just miss enjoying food. But yeah, I will see you guys later today and I'm gonna show you guys what I pack for this trip and how I try to stay strong. So it is 6.50 in the morning and I am getting ready to leave to Zion to go on a trip with my husband and I am 100% not ready. So for the trip, I packed chicken thighs, grass-fed steaks, a couple of eggs that I didn't end up using and to snack on, I bought chicharrones. These beef hot dogs, I'm probably going to have them with the eggs. They do contain a few spices, but it's less than 2%, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is what I'm going to be snacking on. I'm going to show you the snack bag I made. This does have potato starch and rosemary extract. I'm not tripping about it because I just want to be prepared with having enough food out there because it's just going to be me in the wilderness. And then prosciutto. You can't go wrong with prosciutto. Prosciutto is just pork and salt my seltzer waters i've also portioned out these tiny little chicken rendered fat pork fat and you gotta have salt gotta have lots of salt this is my little my little camping trip haul So we are at our first stop. I am really hungry and I'm pretty grateful that I have this egg. It smells pretty sulfuric, so I'm hoping I don't die, but yeah. Today 
today we'll be going hiking and I already hate it. I hate hiking. I'm only doing it for my husband. <sighs> I'm dying. I'm over it. I just want to go home. I want to go set up the fireplace. I want to make food. Hungry. And we're not even to the first waterfall. We'll find out if it was even worth it. I'm starving and we're still a long way from actually having to cook. How long do you, would you say that we're far away from camping and uh, setting up food? Very least uh, an hour, hour Eesh. and a half. Okay, well then. Thank God I have beef biltong. It has vinegar, raisin juice, and spices, which is fine. I'm starving. And I'm just going to finish the rest of these chicharrones. It smells good. This tastes like dry leather. I'm just gonna eat it because I'm hungry. One eternity later. So this is a grass-fed steak and this is my burger. My husband's having asparagus and the grass-fed steak. I am staying strong by not giving in and sticking straight to just an animal-based diet. We just woke up. I'm starving. These are all the snacks that we have. This is what I'm gonna eat. It's what? 11.22. We're supposed to make eggs and weenies, but we woke up late. So now, sure. oh, we're gonna go head up to Zion now, finally. <laughs> Normally, I don't get anything that has natural flavors, but I am on vacation right now and that's all I have. So, I am hungry and we just got to the place where we're gonna set up camp. This whole ride, I haven't had an actual bowel movement, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So right now, I'm like so hungry. So I'm eating the oven roasted from Applegate Farms and this is the non-tastiest, cleanest, Turkey breast ever, and thanks, I hate it. I'm gonna have this with burgers, with sausages, and with a side of steak. And then my husband's gonna have some, he's gonna have some asparagus. <laughs> this is the washing area, this is the shower area, this is the dining area. And this is the sleeping area. So this is my husband's food. This is my food. I have a burger, a steak, and chicken thighs. All seasoned with only salt. Yum! So we're about to finish up putting things away. We didn't do breakfast at all this trip, but I'm not mad at it because that would have meant the stove more than I would like, and it was already a pain in the ass to clean the stove. Those little carnivore snack packs I made definitely helped out a lot. And I'm gonna have one of them this morning just so that it can hold me over till lunch. And for lunch, we're gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm gonna have lemon pepper wheat, no ranch, just plain wings. Then we'll go home.
I'm using the leftover deli meat with eggs and I'm meal prepping chicken thighs in bacon fat for lunch. All right. And that's how my third week went. As far as the physical and mental changes I've experienced on carnivore, for sure, for sure, my confidence has gone way up. And I don't mean to be cocky, but like, I really have a low self-esteem. Like, I am the Eeyore of my friend group. My anxiety has gone way down. For some reason, the anxiety is like, I'm not gonna say it's not there because it's definitely there. It's definitely there, but not as bad. It's manageable and I really like this. And let's see, another change. My skin looks like it cleared up. Like, I don't feel like it looks that bad. After our road trip, I got a pimple there. And I think that had a lot to do with the dirt just because, you know, it's very dirty. And yes, we did have a shower when we went camping, but I didn't get to wash my face like I normally do. So I still had makeup caked on from like Thursday on Sunday. So I think that had to do a lot with it. But like, I feel like my face looks really clear. Like... And yes, I was pretty hungry. I don't know, I have food on my mind all the time. Like even, even when I'm at home, I'm like, what can I make? What should I make? I'm always thinking about the next meal and then the meal after that. So I think it wasn't that I'm hungry. It's just that I literally have food on my mind all the time. And, and as far as my bowel movements, see, there is an upside and a downside to having irregular bowel movements. The upside was that I don't have to worry about having several bowel movements while I'm camping because that would be so disgusting. I already had my reservations about pooping in a hole. And the fact that I only had to worry about it once was a good thing. The bad thing about it was that that one bowel movement is dangerous. As far as updates for my hair loss, I'm still taking the collagen. I actually went and invested and got the powder for once because taking 12 pills a day is not the ish. But I did a little bit more research and I was learning that when you have hair loss like the type I'm having, which I've shown you guys, a lot of it has to do because you're putting a lot of stress on your body and usually doing extreme diets like the one I'm doing and the one I've been doing since April. We're in uh, we're in September now. That has put a lot of stress on my body. I'm pretty sure the hair loss is related to that. I'm hoping it stops soon. I am taking collagen to alleviate it, but my friend Sarah says hi on YouTube. She goes into more detail as to why hair loss occurs and what your expectations should be around it. She actually has a video dedicated to it. I'm gonna link it below if you guys wanna check it out. And as far as the inflammation in my tongue, my tongue actually looks a lot better. And I think last week I said it was like 90-ish percent. I think it's 100% healed at this point. It's at that healing portion where it's kind of gone. It looks like it's completely gone at this point. I just purchased some probiotics and I'm going to start implementing them. As soon as I finish up carnivore, I'm going to set up an appointment with my nutritionist and I'm going to take that test so that he can check if you have any candida in your system. Dun dun dun! This is how much I lost on my third week of keto carnivore. And then one final thought. I do want to say about this whole carnivore diet. Eating just a carnivore diet, you know, it is satisfying. Like, you can't go wrong with eating meat. Every time I reheat my food at work, everybody's like, Oh, your food smells so good. And I'm like, thanks, it's just meat cooked in salt. And the food is satisfying. But I don't think it's a way to live. It's definitely very restrictive. And if you don't have any autoimmune issues that stop you from living a very fulfilling life, then I definitely wouldn't recommend it. I do really like how I feel on it. I don't know how things will go for me going forward. I hope to find some type of balance with the way I'm eating now and the way I plan to eat just because I don't want this good feeling to go away. But I also do want to go back to enjoying the simple pleasures of life like food. Because I do miss food. I, I don't even miss carbs at this point like i don't miss gummy worms i don't miss bread i would love to have keto ice cream i would love to have keto bread a keto cupcake i would love to have the stuff that i can have on keto i don't even miss the real junk food or the real rice or the real bread like yeah they're nice to have but honestly i just want to go back to just having a regular keto diet i really like eating this way anyways thank you guys so much for watching join me next week as i wrap up my fourth and last week of carnivore and where i'll be sharing with you guys my before and afters and my my overall weight loss during the 30 days and and my final final results i'll see you in the next video bye